Welcome to Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 30 engaging questions about Lord Jesus. Are you up for this biblical challenge? Before we begin, please subscribe and like to help us share God's Word. After the quiz, don't forget to share your score in the comments. We're eager to hear from you. Are you prepared? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. Jesus was baptized in the Nile River. What are your thoughts? True or false? Ponder for a moment. And so the answer is false. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 13. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. Question 2. Jesus never cried because he had no emotions. Do you agree or disagree? True or false? Take a brief moment to think. The reveal shows us false. Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 35. Jesus wept. Question 3. John the Baptist confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Your intuition, true or false, please take 10 seconds to decide. The verdict is clear. It's true. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 20. And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Question 4. Jesus was crucified on a Wednesday. Is this statement true or false in your opinion? Contemplate for 10 seconds. The appropriate response is false. And now, when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verse 42. This verse indicates that Jesus was crucified on the day before the Sabbath, which was a Friday. The Sabbath begins at sunset on Friday and ends at sunset on Saturday, according to Jewish tradition. This aligns with the commonly held belief that Jesus was crucified on a Friday. Question 5. Jesus was raised by Pharisees. What's your perspective, true or false? You have a moment to think. The awaited answer is false. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 51. This verse indicates that Jesus was being raised by his parents, Mary and Joseph, in Nazareth, not by Pharisees. Question 6. Everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. Do you concur, true or false? Take a short while to reflect. As it turns out, the answer is true. And this is the will of him that sent me, that you are one which seeth the Son, and believeth on him may howe you are lasting life, and I will raise him VP at the last day. Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 40. 
Question 7. Jesus Christ declared that if he bears witness of himself, his witness is not true. Your judgment, true or false, give it 10 seconds of thought. Indeed, the answer is true. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 31. Question 8. Jesus invented the wheel. What does your insight say, true or false? Think for 10 seconds. Unveiling the answer, it is false. No verse in the Bible states that Jesus invented the wheel. Question 9. Pontius Pilate took Jesus and scourged him. Would you say true or false? Let's take 10 seconds to consider. The accurate answer is true. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 1. This act of scourging Jesus was part of the Roman custom of flogging a criminal before crucifixion. It was a brutal and painful form of punishment meant to further humiliate and weaken the individual before their execution. This event is a significant part of the Passion narrative, highlighting the physical suffering and sacrifice Jesus endured for the sins of humanity. Question 10. Jesus never ate with tax collectors and sinners. How do you see it, true or false? A moment for your thoughts. Shedding light, the answer is false. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 10. And it came to pass, as Isa sate at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sate down with him and his disciples. Question 11. Jesus' mother was named Deborah. What's your discernment, true or false? Reflect briefly. The precise answer is false. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Question 12. The Jews chose Barabbas over Jesus. In your view, is it true or false? Take a moment to ponder. Factually, the answer is true. Gospel of John, chapter 18, verse 40. Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Question 13. Philip asked Jesus to show them the Father. Is it factual or not? True or false? Think it over for 10 seconds. Upon reflection, the answer is true. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 8. 
Question 14. Lord Jesus cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Your interpretation, true or false? Allow yourself 10 seconds to decide. The solution to this puzzle is true. Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Question 15. Satan entered into Judas after he received the SOP. Do you find it true or false? Reflect thoughtfully for a moment. The much-anticipated answer is true. And after the SOP Satan entered into him, then said, Jesus vend to him, that thou doest, do quickly. Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 27. Question 16. Jesus was defeated by the Pharisees in public debates. What's your conclusion, true or false? Take a brief pause to think. In essence, the answer is false. And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Gospel of Matthew chapter 22 verse 46. This verse shows that Jesus was able to silence his opponents and not be defeated in public debates. He displayed great wisdom and knowledge often leaving his questioners astonished by his responses. Question 17. Jesus performed all his miracles in Egypt. True or false, according to your understanding? Reflect for 10 seconds. Conclusively, the answer is false. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 23. Question 18. Jesus taught that people will know his disciples if they have love one to another. Is this claim true? or false in your mind. Contemplate briefly. Divinely speaking, the answer is true. Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Question 19. Jesus was from the tribe of Levi. What does your wisdom tell you, true or false? Ten seconds to think. With wisdom, we find the answer is false. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. This verse indicates that Jesus came from the tribe of Judah, not Levi. Question 20. Jesus had a formal education under Gamaliel. True or false, from your perspective, give it a moment of thought.
illuminating our understanding? The answer is false. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 15. In this verse, the Jews were questioning how Jesus could have such knowledge and wisdom without having received a formal education. This implies that Jesus did not receive a formal education under a prominent teacher like Gamaliel. Question 21. Jesus rode a horse into Jerusalem. Your belief, true or false? Reflect for a short time. With patience, we reveal the answer is false. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon, as it is written, Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 14. This verse confirms that Jesus rode on a young donkey, ass, into Jerusalem, fulfilling the prophecy in Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just, and having salvation, lowly, and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. Question 22. Jesus did not know his apostles. Is this assertion true or false in your assessment? Ponder for 10 seconds. The insight brings us to false. Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. This verse clearly states that Jesus loved his apostles, referring to them as his own. This shows that Jesus did know his apostles and had a close relationship with them. Question 23. The woman at the well said, Come, see a man, which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Your decision, is it true or false? Take a little time to think. Reflecting on the teachings, the answer is true. Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 29. Come, see a man, which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Question 24. Jesus told his followers they could worship many gods. In your estimation, true or false? Contemplate for a brief moment. The answer in truth is false. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. This commandment is a foundational principle in Christianity that emphasizes the exclusive worship of one true God. Question 25. Lord Jesus came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar. Is this statement accurate or not? True or false? Reflect briefly. Revealing the true response, it is true. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 5. 
Question 26. Jesus wrote the book of Revelation. Do you consider it true or false? Pause for 10 seconds to decide. Disclosed with care, the answer is false. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Question 27. Jesus condemned all forms of labor. What's your stance? True or false? Allow yourself a moment to think. Bringing light to the question, it's false. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Gospel of Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30. In this passage, Jesus is not condemning labor, but rather offering rest and relief to those who are weary and burdened. He invites people to take on his yoke, which is easy and light, and promises rest for their souls. This demonstrates Jesus' compassion and understanding for those who are struggling with the challenges of life. Question 28. Lord Jesus said, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Is this fact or fiction? True or false? Think for a short while. Echoing wisdom, the answer is true. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 7. Question 29. Jesus proclaimed that he is the light of the world and that those who follow him shall not walk in darkness. From your viewpoint, true or false? Consider for 10 seconds. With discernment, the correct response is true. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Question 30. Jesus went to Bethany because Lazarus of Bethany was sick. Is it credible or not? True or false? Reflect for a brief period. <laughs> Prophetically speaking, it's true. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha, Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 1. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more biblical quizzes. Please drop your score in the comments. We're eager to see how you did and hear what topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay sharp in your Bible knowledge.